It's go time, Florence and labor. So I'm getting all the bags ready. I've got our water bottles ready, the bags ready. My bags are in the car, I'm getting them packed. She's in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. So I am just going to vlog this as we can because my priority is her comfort first. So we're gonna just do what we can, but we are headed to the hospital. She wanted to take a shower, she has a very hard head, she wanted to take a shower first. So she took a shower while in labor, but it is what it is, that's what she wanted. So let's go. I dropped Lauren off, got the bags, and I'm running in. They took her. It is baby time. This is absolutely crazy. <sighs> She's not doing well. She's in a lot of pain. We got this baby. This is it. This is weird. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Okay, bad timing. You want to sit? No, I don't want to sit. It's better if you stand. Okay. Gotcha. Going up. We got it, second floor. Well, um, um, so Lauren shocked us all. She is five centimeters dilated. I'm shocked. We are shook. Um, no water broken yet. But you're doing really good. I'm wondering, I'm gonna ask, like, at what point does my water break from five centimeters? Like, is this kid? Yeah. I also don't want to be just sloshed. Yeah, but we're getting a room. They're taking us back. We're gonna go to the room we're having the baby in. I know, I'm nervous. No, we're, but if you're five, that's really good. That means this is progressing at a good rate. I know. Because you were three yesterday. I know, so I'm wondering when I turned five, was it like when this stuff started or was it like Overnight? slowly? I don't know. Mitt sweeping your membranes definitely did it. A hundred percent. I'm kind of regretting asking to have my membrane slept. No, okay. you're doing so good. We're gonna have a baby today. We're gonna have a baby. Gonna I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I know, but you oh, handled kids. it so well. But do you also, know this? Look, he moved. They did the little belly things, and he's not having it. No, he moved. You can't hear us already anymore. We're gonna have to get creative because we're not allowed to have the cameras in here, but we'll get creative for you guys. Well, they just said not one in here, correct? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fine. I'm so nervous. I'm about to puke. But not like scary nervous, like just like I hate seeing you like this. Hand now. Okay. I want the bedroll. Okay. Tell her. I will. <laughs> mm. It's not every three. It's getting closer. Yeah. <sighs> okay. You passed. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited it's to so see you. so weird, they don't have masks here. I know. No one has to wear masks. <laughs> I knew he would not vibe. He's been kicking this belt the whole time. What centimeter do you have the baby at? Ten. Oh. As soon as uh, I get the IV, I'm asking for boluses. Because she even said I'm going to have to get a lot. Your blood pressure is low. Which I knew would be the issue. And so, because epidural will tank me. So I'm going to ask for boluses pretty fast. So that way I can get this girl. Making her Facebook post that he's on the way. So maybe so I don't have to call in and someone can tell him. <laughs> oh, for work? Yeah, you're supposed to work tomorrow and she's going to. Met the doctor and now we're on our way to our real room. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I'm scared. I know. <laughs> I did tell the doctor I want it now and I need some boluses yeah, and I'm just heads over in PR. Met the doctor and now we're on our way to our real room. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I love you. I'm scared. You can grab behind the backs of your legs. Okay. Um, we can also take your legs and kind of like push them up like this okay. towards. And um, so whenever a contraction is starting, you're going to take a big deep breath in and let it out. Okay. And let that contraction build. And then you're going to take another big deep breath in, hold it, and bear down and push like you're pooping. Pooping. Okay. Right. Um, and so we'll, I'll count to 10 for you for that. So once I get to 10, let the air out. Big deep breath in, hold it, and push to 10. So we'll count to 10 three times with the contraction. Okay, so you okay. hold your breath while you push. Yes. Okay. And put elbows out huh? to your chest. What? So you can shake the breath all the way out. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I did shake. You're welcome. That's <laughs> what so that was on your to-do list.
Yeah. Pull back on your leg. Um, okay, you are contracting some one, so it's going to be One, two, good job. Three, four, five, six, what are we there? Seven. I did either. <laughs> no, I can't see his head. And that's okay. <laughs> I know. This is the, <laughs> the movie choice. Oh, see, I don't care. What's on? Okay, Lauren, go, go ahead and tell them. It's You've been in labor for like maybe five hours, if that. Well, we started, I would say, around nine. Yeah. And it's three and it's my first baby and i'm at an eight like even the doctor was like very she's like okay and then she then they broke your water which was nothing absolutely nothing i didn't which, even know she did it which because i think he's so dang low the water was right there so you just slap yeah. and go it took two seconds did not hurt it was beautiful Lauren. but also did you know You're an eight I, I love that nurse she tried to advocate for me and say yeah, wait did. didn't you want to and i was like well let's see what i am and at an eight i'm like you're gonna have to break it because the kid's gonna come whether it's broken or not she was so good i caught that too i was like go nurses nurses but i love my doctor too mm -hmm. we're not even gonna get to finish the movie no she's like i'm gonna go eat before we have a baby yeah i hope it's not going to push long i really can i sit with you i don't think you're gonna have to and i'm just so proud of you I'm just so proud of your body. We have done, not saying that this is minimal, but because the nurse like looked at me, but like you've done minimal to like get dilated. Right, like I haven't done the things. Yeah. I drink. You haven't had to bounce things. on the ball. No, I didn't really bounce on the ball a lot and do any of that. No, I did sweep the membranes. I don't know if it would, I don't know. I really think sweeping the membranes helped. Unless it was like 24 hours, boom. And we were watching our vlog and all of a sudden she's like, <gasps> and then it just hit. I feel a little bit more. Yeah. Nothing, but like a little twinge here and there. Yeah, we're about to be moms. I got pulled. Yeah. I'm so confused on what is. Where is he? I don't know. Yeah. Let's see how long you are. I'll scoot you up just a little bit. You're doing so good. That's so cute. That's like the one star I'm not really happy. Yeah, I want him back, but I know you've been dying, so. You don't have to use that, really. Like, what is it? The peanut. peanut. That was on for about an hour yeah. plus. This day has flown. Um, I'm gonna run really quick and grab these birthdays because I can't remember. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. It's just the eye ointment and the vitamin K shot um, and then the hepatitis B vaccine. He's still a scared little bitch. He's seeping. I know, he's so confused with this stuff on his eyes. Is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. I'm running down my leg. It's about time I get to hold you. Maggie, there's a whole lot of people excited for you to be here. Mm -hmm. Let me see his face. Here's your first YouTube intro. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> yeah, he's probably confused by his eye wink, man. Thank you. He's tired now. I'm sure he went to a lot. Does this feel real? Because it doesn't feel real to me. 
Mm. It does not feel real. That he's here, I think is the weirdest part. Look at this, he's doinked. Mm. However, what's even weirder is he keeps kicking my hands. Like, he, he keeps kicking, and it's like, we felt this for months in your belly, and it's so weird to have it out. Mm. Sorry, I'm getting all down my leg. Hi. You're just so mellow. He tricking you. I know. I know. It it had the the storm hasn't hit yet. He tricking mama. I'm shaky too. Hi. Now you're peaceful. <laughs> it's so funny. Bella just left. It was the cutest thing ever. She did not want to leave. She did not want anyone to hold him. It was her baby. It she was, was so proud. Baby. It was so cute. It was really cute. And she was so excited. But we had to keep telling her, like, Bella, he's not leaving. Like, anytime you come over now, he's there. Like, you'll have plenty of time with him. I said, are you still going to come over? And when he's crying, she goes, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. She was so excited. She came running and showing him some dog toy. Uh, that is this big. Yeah. Like, okay, Bella. Okay, but Bella. Now we're waiting for the next round of people to come. Well. We've almost been moms for 24 hours. No one slept. So he had maybe an hour of sleep. He did not go to bed until 5.30 this morning. And then he ate at six, so he really didn't go to bed. Yeah. But he slept today, don't worry. <laughs> Which is concerning. For tonight. Yeah. But he's had lots of visitors. He's about to get his first bath. Yeah, well, someone ate some crackers and it's all on his hair. Any other parent can relate. When you're holding your kid, you eat all the crumbs get in their head, on their head and that's what it is. But Lauren did so good. The cord was wrapped a couple times and the doctor got it. And then um, Lauren just literally like football shoved him out. I do regret pushing so hard because I'm paying for it today. My, oh, yeah. my butt hurts so bad. You did so good though. Out of your oh, hair. That's what they do. Yeah, he does. Oh, no. yeah, There's so our hair. seal cry. Oh, yeah, he does like he's laughing. Oh, is that good? So that's got to feel good. It's a head massage. There we go. Now you can chill. Oh, you got to snort. Girl, I, I get the heck up so much. This oh baby's gonna be used to it. Sometimes I, f I get so excited, I forget to breathe. Yeah, that's what my doctor used to tell me all the time. Yeah. He's like, you're not breathing enough. Yeah. <laughs> It, it always happens when I'm either like super excited or stressed. He got the ghost all the time. He did. He is used to it. All the time. He got over He's playing with the water already. Yeah, we gotta go in a minute. We're getting ready to discharge. Smell his butt. Why do I gotta smell it? Cause I can't reach it. Smell his butt. Did he, did he poop? No, I farted. I think it went overall really well. It did. So we woke up Saturday morning, and ironically, our vlog was premiering, and we got like two minutes into it. Oh yeah, we were watching the vlog. Yeah, two minutes, not even that far into it. And all of a sudden, Lauren started getting really, really bad contractions. And then... They were like on top of each other. I don't even think I had you time on like no. immediately. No, well, so and it was like one of those things where I have to advocate when she needs to go to the doctor, and she like, well, and was like, we're leaving. So Lauren, being the hard head she is, What'd she say this whole pregnancy? What'd she do before she goes to the hospital? I was shower. I was shower. Don't worry, I was already shaved because I shaved from my doctor's appointment the day before. But she hardcore was contracting. But I woke up like I just like I was fine like before I slept. Did you just perfect. Know? Uh, they were different and they were ten times stronger. Like, well, she had her membrane soup the day before, and we were fine. I was just a little crampy. I slept through the night, but pl I think I thought. I thought I lost my blood, did the bloody show the night before. Yeah. So I was like, mm, this may be it. And then I woke up Saturday morning and it was, I was uncomfortable. But I was and then, all night. Yeah, we, we didn't have any issues all night. And then we got here and she was five centimeters. We got it like at 10 a.m., 10, 30. Which five is like impressive because know. you didn't bounce on the ball. You didn't curb walk. Like you didn't we go didn't to all extremes. Like, no. You got your membrane swept and then. We came in at five. They did the IV labs. Did they start the Sorry. fluids down there? 
No, they started no we got in the room and they did well, learn. No, because they did the IV and the labs. And they and missed. Yeah. And I had to sit down because I got very queasy after watching them But then them the miss. doctor came in. She's like, I'll check you. It had been like an hour because they were like admitting me to all the paperwork. I was already six. So we went upstairs, got the bolus, and I said, I want the epidural. Well, yeah, her I blood pressure is too low. So then she got the epidural. Actually, they were so fast, the epidural. But they were so good. They went step by step on everything. She was like, okay, you're going to hear me open this. You're going to feel my hand right here. You're going to feel it. Like, she was so good. And she has a CRNA. Mm -hmm. And she was so good. At that point, I didn't care who did I just wanted it done. And then Lauren was smiling ear to ear after it. I felt so good after it. Okay, minus. He didn't feel I know, you're okay. And then we, it was so funny though, something that, it was so funny because you went into labor, like, and then they were like, you're fully dilated. She really didn't have well, to try on. much. You're skipping parts. So then I had the epidural. It's all blur. And I think once I got the epidural or something, the doctor came in like 30 minutes after I got it. I was mm -hmm. like, how are you feeling good? She's like, I'll check her. I was like, cool. I was an eight. And they're like, do you want us to break your water? Do you want us not to? I was like, well, let's wait. Oh, yeah. And then she checked me, and I'm an eight. I'm like, we need to go ahead and break it. She's yeah. like, yeah, we do, before the before the water comes out. Before okay. the kid comes out with the water. So she broke my water, which I didn't feel, because that epidural, so it was amazing. And they gave me the peanut ball, and the nurse went to lunch and did some other things. Like an hour and a half gone. She didn't come back, and I'm a ten. Yeah, and they're like, and it's I didn't time to start know. pushing. Like, I didn't have that, like, intense pressure that they were talking about. And it's so funny, because during labor or like during birth um everyone came in real quick it happened fairly fast but we hadn't picked what was on tv grown-ups was on prior and it was on mtv so we just we didn't change it because everything happened so fast but while he's getting born there's literally like nothing but butt cheeks and boobs bouncing off of mtv on there and the nurses and i like she's pushing the baby out and the volume's going and we're looking at the tv laughing trying to get him and then I stood by his feet because I was watching and the cord was wrapped around a couple times. She did it so swiftly, like you wouldn't even know. She got the cord out. She goes, push one more time to Lauren. Lauren shot him out. She didn't just like pull. I don't want him out. He, she caught the baby and I wish I would have gotten his face on camera because I saw the life of God. Like he went, <sighs> it was so funny. But then yeah, he did so good. And then his eyes were open immediately. He was very awake. I didn't know what was going on half the time because my eyes were all because I was hurting when I before I got the epidural, so my eyes were always closed. I didn't know what happened. Um, but what did pushing feel like? You said it didn't hurt. No, well, I couldn't feel my legs at all, like at all. Dead I kept weight, touching them. Dead freaking weight. I kept touching them. To like see. they were turning me in it, and like, can you do it? I'm like, no, you're gonna have to turn me. I cannot feel anything. So I was dead weight, and then I had a little bit more control on my left side versus my right. Um, my right was just straight dead. And I tried to get Maddie. And Maddie kept switching sides. I said, you have to stay at this side. I could see more on the other side. Well, I can't hold my leg up. Literally, Maddie was just like, yeah, there. And um, so he pushed like an hour and a half. Well, and then they threw him on her, like they do. But instead of like Riggs just like being there, Riggs grabbed her face and dragged his hand. So her whole head was just covered in blood. Okay, and they were like trying to clean her up at the same time as like blood's like dripping in her mouth. It was, uh, it was you hit a butt really well. It was shock. It was, but also it's like my baby's here. I know. Cause I didn't like feel him fully come out. I could just hear you, you like squeal and like you squeeze my hands. So I knew something was happening, but my eyes were closed. I, was, I think I got more emotional than you. Well, I was trying to. <gasps> yeah. But also like I had the shakes and I just had it all. You did so good. And then we got our little guy who doesn't sleep. <laughs> you can't know. contact us unless it's between the hours of 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. Because that's when we'll be, we'll be, we'll be awake. <laughs> so. He's asleep right now. Yeah. He's going to scream when we put him in this car seat. I know. But I'm proud of us. Me too. I'm proud of you. You did so good. I'm just ready to go home and yeah. maybe nap. Let's go start our life at home. Yeah. This your home? Well, Riggs, here you go. Here's the first start of your whole chapter. Good luck, Riggs. Good luck, bud. Good luck, Ricky.